here is how we are going to calculate the limiting friction and how we are applying the knowledge of limiting friction in our life. This is a box which we need to slide on this surface. It has got mass m and as we remember it is pressing this surface and this press is creating a reaction and this surface is pressing this body upward with a normal reaction say R. Okay. Now we are applying a force with help of this mass. How much is that force mg and it is applied in this direction. This is applied force. Applied force. When there is a intention of motion, it has not moved so far. When there is a intention of motion, then there is a force of friction generated here, reacted here, this frictional force in this direction. At present, the body is not moving. Why it is not moving? Because this applied force is balanced by the force of friction. Then why because of this force, this body is not moving up? Because this is also experiencing a force downward. How much is that force due to gravity? Mg. So, now you see this body, Mg downward, equal reaction upward, R which is equal to mg auto adjusting. So, they balance each other, they balance each other and body is at rest. But it is in such a condition that now if I increase even 1 gram, it will start moving. If it is in that condition, then I say which stage has come? Limiting stage. And at that time, what is the friction? Limiting friction. So, this is brought by increasing mass more, 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 more so much that now if I increase even 1 gram, it will move. This case is known as limiting case. In the other words, if I want to move it, how much force should I apply? Answer, limiting case, limiting friction I should apply. Okay, that 0.1 gram does not matter. So, if limiting friction is 5 Newton. How much force should I apply to move it? 5 Newton. The moment I cross 5 Newton, it will start moving. Okay. So, that relation we have to see. And we have seen that mu is equal to friction divided by normal reaction R now, how much is the force of friction? The purpose of making this diagram is to understand that force of friction which is here cannot be measured. Then how do we measure this? Answer is we can measure it by equating it with this. Who is balancing the force of friction? Applied force is balancing it. And at what stage it is? Limiting case. So, at that time what is the value of friction? Limiting friction. And it is equal to applied force. Why it is equal to applied force? Because the moment I am going to increase it, it is going to move. So, that shows that at present applied force is equal to limiting friction. You see, always friction is equal to applied force in the condition of rest. If it is 1 Newton, this is 1. If this is 3, this is 3. This is 5, this is 5. So, I can always measure friction by applied force. So, please note it and remember it. Applied force is measure of static friction. Static friction, applied force is measure of static friction always. But when this static friction itself is limiting, then applied force is equal to limiting friction. So, this is the case where we have this limiting friction. This is how we can measure it, calculating it. Now, this is equal to applied force. This is equal to normal reaction. So, this is mg and 
this reaction is small mg. This is equal to m upon m. This is mu. So, I get limiting this coefficient of limiting friction is equal to m upon m m upon m. This gives the coefficient of limiting friction and this also gives me equation that applied force m is equal to mu into load this. If I say this is applied force, if I say this is load, then my equation is applied force is equal to mu into load. This is practically we are using in the engineering. If I have to move a box which is 1000 kg, 1000 kg. If mu is equal to 1, I have to apply the force 1000 kg. If mu is equal to 0 0.1, then I have to apply force 1000 into 0 0.1, 100 kg. If mu is equal to 0 0.01, then I have to apply only 10 kg and I can push it. So, mu is very important for me, mu between the two surfaces. I know that if this is one surface, this is other surface, I keep it on this, mu is equal to 1, I have to apply 10 Newton. If I keep it on this, mu is equal to 0 0.7, so I have to apply 7 Newton. If I keep it like this, mu between the two is 0 0.4, I have to apply only 4 Newton, it will move. And if I put this in between, which rolls, the mu has become 0.1. I have to apply only 0 0.1 Newton and I can move it. This is importance of mu so that applied force can be changed with respect to load. So, this is importance of mu that is uh, coefficient of friction and this is the relation between the two. Please remember applied force. upon normal reaction and actually it is what force of friction, but force of friction in the limiting case become equal to applied force. So, this is calculating limiting friction and in the next lecture we will see few more terms what is meant by angle of friction. and the other features related with friction. Thank you.